I hope you like pockets as much as I do. Hey everyone, it's Maddie Azar with Spectrum Art Creations and today it is all about the pockets. We are going to be working on small pockets and large pockets using this gray die set. Whether you are a journal maker or a scrapbooker or maybe even a card maker, Pockets are something that we all enjoy to make because they're super useful. We can add them to our journals, we can add them to our cards, and of course we can add them to our layouts and be able to add all kinds of fun stuff like photos, uh, you know, secret letters, uh, you know, tickets, receipts, all kinds of great um, stuff into our pockets. And this die set that we are using today is magnificent because it comes with two pockets, some page and hole reinforcers, as well as paper clips. We are also going to be using for this project, Sparrow Hill, which is a gorgeous paper line from Ciao Bella. It is a paper line that we import from Italy. And by the way, if you have questions on any of the products that you see today, including this magnetic bowl, which is great for holding on to your die pieces, um, they're all available in our online store. So make sure that you guys, uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to purchase any of these items, check out our online store. And what I'm doing is using my die as a viewfinder, basically. It is helping me to position and figure out what is going to be showing and where is it going to be showing so I can choose. I can see what's gonna be cut off, what might not be centered, um, what might not work like this little bird down here. Uh, if I try to do that, then obviously I would be kind of cutting him in half. So, you know, again, just using your die in order to be able to ascertain what would look pretty and especially if you're going to either be centering your second pocket or if you're going to be you know flushing it to the left to the right or maybe admitting using it all together as you can see with this paper collection it is actually overwhelming at the amount of choices that we have there's so many pretty ones i almost wanted to do about 10 different pockets because honestly it was hard to choose all the pages would look wonderful and beautiful no matter what whether again i want to center it whether i want to flush it to the left or to the right the smaller pocket or not use it at all so again choices choices and more choices now i did finally end up deciding that i was going to be using this little bird right here with the word family i just love how that looked of course for this one i am not going to be using the smaller pocket and all I'm going to do is use my pencil to help me gauge how far I need to cut um, so I don't want to waste paper and by doing that it gives me um, a good guide as to where I need to cut um, the height and the width of this paper the same thing goes for um, this other page right here I've decided that I want the little bird uh, sparrow flush to or not flush excuse me on the left hand side and I'm going to use my pocket on the right hand side so again using my pencil I am simply going to be marking trying to keep that one little image on the right hand side so if you'd like to get your hands on this gorgeous collection make sure that you actually visit our online stores we have two online stores, by the way, if you are new to this channel. We have both a .com, which is SpectrumArtCreations.com store. And then, of course, we have an Etsy store as well. So make sure you check them both out. But now that we've got the large pockets, I wanted to show you something. When I put this through my um, die cutting machine, it wanted to almost tear into it. And sometimes um, dies will do that, especially if they're new. And if that ever happens to you, all you need is a piece of paper to reinforce that or some washi tape. So do not despair. Usually when dies are new and they're cutting for the first time, they might be a little sharp. And where they're supposed to actually create a score line, they might actually cut the paper. By the time I did the second pocket, it was perfectly okay. But all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of washi there on the inside, and that is going to fix that. No one will ever know. 
the other solution also, if this ever happens to you, is that you can file down that one particular area where it's supposed to be um, scoring, that line right there. You could use a nail file and just file down that metal just a little bit. Uh, I, or if you have um, sander, like the one that I have here, this one is a really great tool. It is a brand new tool to the store and I love it. I am in love with it. I'm so happy that one of our friends um, Kim Southpaw, I believe, Studio 21, um, recommended this for us because I love it. It comes with a little handheld sander and a bunch of sanding strips and it is um, Velcro. So it's easily attached on there and has great grit. So I'm happy, my hands are happy because I no longer have to um, struggle with my fingers. But if that ever happens, once again, you can file it down and then by the second or third cut, it'll be just perfect, but easy enough to fix. So now we have our two pockets and we're gonna be talking about some other choices that we can make. Because part of the fun in what we do in crafting or in creating art is the ability to have lots of choices and make projects our own. By the way, if you are enjoying this project, I hope that you guys will give us a thumbs up. But more importantly, don't forget that if you are not aware, we do have Spectrum Art Creation Academy. It is a great way to be able to not only support the channel, to continue to bring you content, but also to be able to get exclusive online classes, workshops, and lives. So our um, academy members, depending on the level that you're at, get all kinds of additional perks. If you're not familiar with that and would like to receive additional classes that are exclusive and private, please make sure you check out the information uh, in the link in the box down below in the description box as well as the link that says join on our channel but now that we've gotten our large pockets done it is time to start thinking about our little pocket and i'm going to be using this really cool image which has got like the books and the clocks and that's going to be the small pocket for this one particular one that we're doing because we're doing two of them right one we're just going to leave as a full pocket and the other we're going to do a double pocket. You can see that there is a score line uh, on there so it makes it super easy to know where to score. I'm using the front cover now to gather up some of those pieces but as you can see there's still plenty of elements for me to utilize as well. From this page which is the front cover again I've cut out a piece that is seven and three quarters by six and a half. However, again, this is just an example. I just cut it to this size just to show you how to put this together. However, this will vary completely dependent upon what you're working on or what size journal you're making or layout. And then from this other page right here, super pretty with all those little berries and uh, floral accents, I've cut out another piece and that one is nine inches by eight and a quarter. Again, completely a suggestion just to kind of show you how you can do different sizes. Uh, it really, there's so many different configurations. But we're going to be looking at, you know, talking about some other ideas and ways that we could use, especially those um, holes there on the left hand side. But we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a few. For now, what I'm after is getting these scraps that we have from cutting these two pages because now we can look at our hole reinforcers. And we've got some great choices here as well. It comes with four different hole reinforce sets, which you can use as a set from stars to all kinds of really cool ones. Or you can also mix and match them, which is super fun. And you could use them for all kinds of other projects, other projects, tags, other pages that you're making. It also come with, comes with two different paper clips. Again, usable for any project. And there are two sizes. One is two and a quarter. And then the smaller one is one by um, one and a half, excuse me. Uh, so again, super fun pieces. Now I'm going to be cutting some of these out of those green pieces, 
but also I thought we might want to have some variety, right? Because we don't know. So I'm going to use some of this gray up here, but I'm just going to cut where that, you know, top tag was or that top journaling card. And then that way I still have all those other pieces there at the bottom, including that gorgeous bird that I could use later, plus all the stuff on the inside. So I'm just going to use that little piece of gray right there to cut out some of these. And then we'll be ready to continue on. And now we have those done. We have some green choices. And then of course the little gray ones that we decided to cut. The easiest way I know to get these out is to simply drop my dies onto my work area. And then those little scrap piece of paper will pop right out. Of course you could use your craft pick and uh, that would be a great way of doing that. But I, I simply just drop and bounce my dies and those papers sure come right out of there. Now, as I am bouncing this one, I wanna talk about the paper clips because the paper clips are meant so that you can actually make journaling cards or tags with built-in clips. But if you want to use them loose, as I am gonna be using them as an embellishment or perhaps a die cut, if you wanna call it that, all you need to do is bring your scissors and snip off those connector pieces. You can see here that they're still attached to the paper or what would be, of course, a journaling card or a tag. But all I'm gonna do is snip that little piece that connects it and that is going to free the paper clip which of course are so stinking cute because you can use them just like that on your projects. Okay, now with all of those done and cut out, let's take a look again at some of these great sets for whole reinforcers. You have so many different choices that you can use as sets, or you can also of course mix and match them and you can even layer them, why not? I think that would look amazing as well. So you have lots of choices to play around with and different colors that you can cut out uh, and then be able to mix, match, or use them as full sets, not only for this project, but of course for any other project, for all of your tags, for all of your pages, for all of your layouts, for your ephemera, for anything that you want to make. Now this great tool that you see here we've got to talk about because if you're not familiar with it you definitely need to be it is the spellbinder magnetic pickup tool which allows you to pick up and release simply by pressing a button all of your die pieces or anything magnetic it is available in our store so now let's talk about even more choices because now we get to bring all of our stuff back and be able to look at all those different options that we have simply by folding that in half we're able to see that we could use that which would look great uh, we also have this other shape here so again now we need to play around and see what we like and what would look good of course depending also on our background we might choose a different color altogether okay so now let's bring all of our pieces back in uh, and of course be able to choose what it is that we're going to use as well as to distress. But before we do that, we are going to make sure that we use our bone folder and crease all of our pieces. Uh, again, it is pre-scored for us and that's the beauty of using this die set is that all of that work has been done. I'm gonna bring in my ergonomic bone folder and burnish down all of those crease lines. Again, if you would like to reinforce any of those, this is a great time to do so, but it is not necessary. We're only gonna need to do two sides on the large pockets. However, here's another tidbit. You could choose to actually fold that as a complete pocket by also folding the left-hand side as well. So that is completely an option of making it a full pocket without uh, your, you know, your rear hole reinforcers. So just like I'm doing here, there is actually a score line that is provided for us. So we can actually make it a pocket all on its own. And I just did that to show you later on, I am going to use them because I just think even if you choose not to use the hole reinforcers as part of your signature, meaning something that you're going to be putting into a binder, 
I still think that they look super cool just on their own. So that was just to kind of show you that you do have the option of making it a, a full pocket. But later on, we're going to talk about how we are going to be uh, punching our holes and all that good stuff. I just wanted to show you that you have the option of putting that outside of the signature or inside of your um, background piece as well, just as an embellishment. And then of course we are going to grab our smaller pocket as well and we are going to burnish those lines. And now with all of those options and ideas and possibilities, we can go ahead and distress our project. Now, I also wanted to mention to you guys, if you have not joined us for any of our live sales uh, on Saturdays, uh, typically it's on Saturdays, you definitely want to subscribe to the channel so you get notifications. But we have live sales here on YouTube where we actually come live and show you product, talk about it. You get to meet friends, play games, enjoy giveaways, see product demos, and see the product actually being shown in real life, um, where I go through the product, I explain it, and then you're able to purchase live. So if you have not joined us for that, do make sure you do, because it is a whole lot of fun, a great way to see amazing new products and projects, as well as making new friends and enjoying a great time so again make sure you are subscribed to our channel not just for the fact that we have live sales but because of course we do all kinds of tutorials product demos we have online classes and craft alongs and giveaways and challenges as well so we hope that you guys will subscribe and join us now going back to our pocket we now have all of the pieces distressed so we are ready to start assembling our page we're going to do that by adhering both of those flaps that we have burnished down when we fold it and then on this side we're going to add glue again there is a little guideline like a score line that will show you exactly where you need to apply that glue and i'm going to bring mine on this side all the way flushed with my left hand side again like we talked about you have lots of choices to kind of you know leave a little bit of a flap or leave it completely out so it just depends on the look that you are going for and you can try different looks but all that i'm doing is now bringing in the page reinforcers and wrapping those around so they go from front to back and of course i'm only going to be doing on these three because it is more of a decoration than not now I'm going to do another video where I'm going to give you a bonus some bonus footage on how to do even more with this die set so hang tight give me a couple of days and then I am going to be bringing that content to the channel as well but then we're going to grab our crocodile or a hole puncher, depending on which one you have. Now the crocodile is neat because it is both a uh, hole puncher as well as, of course, an eyelet setter. And I've used my pencil to simply give me uh, like a little dot in the center so I can kind of cut them um, centered. Uh, you know, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to, to gauge it. So putting a little pencil mark there helps. And now that we have our three holes there, we can see that they go front and back and they look absolutely adorable. And again, even if you are not using this inside of a binder, it is just such a neat look. Now on this next one, we are not going to punch all the way through at first because I want you to see that even if you do not have a hole puncher or an eyelet setter, it is still a great way to make this project look super adorable but we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing we're going to glue down the two flaps and then of course the side with the holes and again we are given a little um, indentation there on the paper as you can see which really helps us to be able to uh, figure out where the glue should go but I mean it's pretty simple and straightforward to just adhere glue there on that side to create the pocket and once again I am going to put that on there now you notice in this case I did not flush it I more or less centered it and I left like an eighth of an inch all the way around the left right and bottom 
then we're going to bring in that little pocket there and that one gets glued on all three sides super cute pocket again doesn't have to be used with this project it is such a versatile die set because you could use that with anything any project any page any layout any uh card i mean it'd be great to be able to use that in one of your cards and have that element where you could put a little note on there or some photos maybe some tickets if you're gifting someone tickets to an event right um and then of course uh, also gift cards money cash money would fit really nice in those pockets so lots of great options for that as well for this one i am not using the double-sided um Whole reinforces I'm using the singles again I could have layered these on top of the other ones and they would have looked amazing or maybe even added the stars on top of these so so many different ways to use these but I wanted to show you that if you wanted to use them just as a decorative element they look super awesome just the way that they are look how pretty that is now, if you like crafting and you're looking for like-minded friends in a place where you can actually make new friends, share all your creations, ask questions, uh, you know, and just be able to be inspired by other folks, I would like to suggest that you join our Facebook group if you haven't done so already. We have a great Facebook group full of creative minds and amazing folks. So be sure to check out Spectrum Art Creation Friends on Facebook. Now, I have a little piece of paper here and I wanted to show you what I meant about the fact that the whole reinforcers would look great on any project. So in order to fill our pockets, I am simply going to be grabbing this little hole reinforcer and adhering that to the top of this. I did use my corner rounder on the bottom as well as my We Are Memory Keeper angle cutter at the top in order to turn it into a tag with some, you know, little elements here on the corners uh, here and there. I have used my zero ruler in order to center that uh, as well. And all we're going to do is again use our hole puncher to create a nice little hole there look how cute that looks nothing else is needed for that tag to look adorable however i do have these super fun new items these are the wide um eyelets from we are memory keepers as well and they come in all kinds of colors look at all these great colors and we have them available in store and they just add this really nice element to your work because again it's very different look how neat that looks isn't that gorgeous just layered just like that it is as simple as that to make any tag look amazing or any project now don't forget we still have a little paper clip so we could use it maybe on a tag like this uh, look how cute that is and of course now we have our tag that slips right into that pocket we have journaling room right there we have our little tag we have some other additional pieces of ephemera from the leftover pages that we cut up and then of course our our paper clip can go right there or maybe move it over here i mean look it just looks super cute don't forget also that we have those holes there where we can use our eyelids we could also use regular ones because we carry those regular eyelets in store as well. So let's go ahead and, and try both. And then that way we can assess and look and see what look we like best. But again, choices, we can always change it around. Now for this one, let's keep it simple. We're going to use regular um, eyelets and look at this super cool look. Again, even if you're not inserting this into a journal, isn't that just super fun to be able to add on to a page or to any uh, type of layout that you're working with, with all of these great, gorgeous elements. And on this one now, remember we had left it without the hole punches, but I told you that we were gonna come back and uh, work on those as well. So once again, I'm gonna mark my center just to make sure that when I uh, punch my holes, I am semi uh, centered and not completely cockeyed because I, I tend to do that. I don't know if it's just me. You guys tell me in the comments, do you struggle with that as well? Or is it just me? 
I have a really hard time for some reason when I'm trying to center stuff. Uh, so I, I found that, you know, just taking two seconds to mark it makes a whole lot of difference for me on my projects. And hopefully if you are like me, this will help you as well. But on this one, once we have punched our holes, I'm a thinking at first I decided to kind of look at that and I thought, well, we have already done that. So let's look at other stuff because we have choices. Why not use some of these? And I kind of was leaning towards that greenish one uh, because it just flows perfectly, obviously with the color palette or even a brown one, I thought. But this one just, oh, look at that. It's perfect. It creates highlights. But then I looked at that book and I saw that that book had a little bit of blue uh, in there. And I thought, huh, again, when you are looking at your color palette, right? Look at your um, layout and see what elements, what colors um, are represented. And that blue just looked super, super pretty. Of course, I also considered, um, you know, tying that blue or tying that yellow, but I did not have any of the yellow ones. I just didn't keep any from the sale. So I have to make sure that I go ahead and go back and get some yellow ones as well. So choices, choices. Mm, the green looks amazing. The blue looks wonderful. Which one to go with, right? Well, I like to hear what you guys would have chosen, but I ended up going with the blue because I really thought that blue was perfect for bringing, tying in and bringing in that blue from the book. It just looks absolutely great and it gives it a little bit of contrast. So blue it is. Not to say that we couldn't have mixed and matched. That would have been great too, right? So as simple as that, we were able to add some really nice pop of color and create another great element that just makes a difference in your projects so do keep that in mind when you're working on yours as well and here we have two amazing pockets in no time at all guys and i mean honestly if i was just working through these just on my own and not showing anything i would have knocked these out in no time so what do you guys think do you like them i hope you do Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to, of course, please take three seconds and give us a like. We so appreciate it. It helps the channel as well as to share with your friends and crafty groups and leave us a comment. Again, we love to hear back from you. Don't forget to check out the online stores for any and all of these amazing um, products and thousands more. Plus, there's a coupon code down in the description box. So go ahead and check out spectrumartcreations.com and also feel free to peruse the Etsy store. Join us for our weekly live sales. And of course, be sure to check out Spectrum Art Creations Academy for additional exclusive content videos, lives, and so much more. We hope that you do subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you can be notified of when we upload new videos. And hey, if there's anything you want to see, please leave it down in the description box because we'd love to bring you content that you enjoy. Oh, and don't forget to check out this next video for even more content and crafting ideas. Thank you so much once again for joining us. A big warm hug from sunny Florida. You guys have an amazing, creative day. Don't forget to share your makes in the Facebook group. Bye now.